everybody, welcome to Transformation Thursday. It's a series started by two beautiful ladies, Melody, Transforming Melody, and Rhonda, aka Spanky Cola. The premise being that you can't successfully change the outside unless you successfully change the inside. My outside didn't change at all this week. <laughs> I weighed in this morning at 3 a.m. at 242.0. That is exactly what I weighed in last week, and I'm going to take it and be grateful. And the reason for that, my husband wanted Chinese buffet last night. Day before weigh-in, Chinese buffet. Really? But yeah. So I guess that kind of actually leads me into how God was working with me this last week. And for me, I have a real hard time, and it's going to be a constant, I think, work with me that God's going to be doing with me on um, giving control up to Him and just trusting Him in the outcomes of anything the direction of my journey. I find myself often frustrated because I am a slow loser. I'm, you know, I don't lose quickly at all. And sometimes I, I gain faster than I lose. Um, you know, so yeah, control with me is a huge, I'm not a control freak, but giving complete control to God is a huge, is a huge thing for me. And I find myself unintentionally fighting that. Um, I know he has the best, the best, I know he has the best intentions and the best plan laid out for my life, better for me than I ever could. And it's not that I ever doubt where he's taking my journey. It's just I'm, in that sense, I, in, I instill too much, I use too much free will. Let's put it out there. God can plan our life and do, you know, map it all out for us. But, you know, there's that little thing called free will and that gets in us, that makes us get in the way of his plan for us. And sometimes he has to alter that plan. But anyway, so I have been reading Let God Fight Your Battles and it, I am doing that um, as a Bible study for Worship Wednesdays. And it has really opened my eyeballs as to... Um, just the manner, just the way I see things, the way I'm seeing things, I guess, is a little different. And it's not that I'm giving up control easier, because I'll tell you, I'm human. I fight tooth and nail and grapple and hook for everything. Um, but I see things differently, and I'm taking a different spiritual and mental approach to my journey. Now, one of the things I had mentioned in a video last week was that I had printed calendars. Hang on, Oliver. There you go, little dude. Stay. Good boy. Um, I had mentioned in a video last week that I was making, you know, calendars and I, how I'm going to be using them. And I finally got my May one in a book. Now, this book here was something I unintentionally started, believe it or not. Um, I had had a moment where God didn't just speak to me. I felt like he used a megaphone putting out there. That man can yell. So <clears throat> I had had a really bad, hang on. Yes, Oliver, come on. Sorry, he's missed me. I had one day had a very bad, um, meal. Not, not that, um, not that I went overboard on points, but I wasn't real happy with my food choices. And I heard God very distinctly ask me, would I feed that meal as a meal to someone who knocked on my door, to a family, to friends, um, would, I, but more specifically, would I feed that meal to him and be happy? that I did so. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and my answer was no. No, I, I wouldn't. I would never expect to have fed whatever it was. I don't even remember what I was eating actually. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have fed uh, that what I had eaten as a meal to anybody. Not a family, not a friend. I wouldn't have fed it probably most likely knowing me to an enemy. I certainly would not have fed it to God had he knocked on my door unexpectedly. His then question was, well, then why are you feeding it to yourself? 
and I had no answer. The only answer I could come up with was laziness. I wanted something quick, I wanted something fast, or uh, I wanted something quick, I wanted something easy, and that's what was there. That's what fit both criteria. So I ate it. And it fit in my points and I did fine. I lost weight that week, but that wasn't the point. So I had in this book jotted that that story down really quickly. And it's messily written. Like literally, I jotted it very quickly. It's not neatly written it's as I normally would. It's not um, not prettied up. I didn't sugarcoat it. I just wrote it. And it happened March 27th. Um, and then this book just sat there. Now it's a, it's a moleskin journal. It's just lined paper and it's uh, a sewn sewn binding. It's not spiral bound or anything. But this book just sat there. After that story was written and it just sat there and it's been just not even thought about until I started reading Let God Fight Your Battles. And yesterday I went through and I put inspirational stickers on it from Happy Planner from because I have a ton of planner stickers, let's just face it. This banner right here says, become all that God has made you to be. And this banner was at the top of something I got in the mail. And it just screamed at me. So I cut it out and I glue sticked it on here. This one is, all, actually all the ones on here are happy planners. Never give up. Make it work. And it says, note to self, you do you. Don't, you know, don't con compare my journey to someone else's. And at the same time, in Let God Fight Your Battles, is don't look to other people's solutions for their problems f to solve your problem. And then this one way down here in the corner says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. So they're just little reminders to me that I will add to as I find things that just jump out at me and I'll add them to my cover or add them to somewhere in here. Um, also in here I had a favorite line to a song. It says you bring your brokenness and I'll bring mine. And for some reason that just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of crawled out at me so I wrote it down in here on a piece of paper. And following that is my May calendar. Now on each day I record how many steps I did, how many fit point that fit points that earned me, and I haven't got it on here for today. But on way days, I'll record my weight, so I have a visual of where I'm going. Because honestly, I don't track my weight anywhere. I put it in my Weight Watchers app, and that's it. I don't track it anywhere, so I don't really, I don't really have a good visual representation of where my weight journey is, my weight loss journey is going. I also write down in here in purple pen. What is my fitness, my fit point goal for the week? And at the end of the week on the Wednesday, how many did I fit points did I earn for the week? Last week I earned 38 and my goal is 33. And on one hand it's like, oh, finally, I made a goal. On the other hand, it was my daily steps that got me there because I hooked my Fitbit that I wear to my Weight Watchers. Um, my Weight Watchers app. <clears throat> and I've been in argument with myself as to whether or not that's cheating because I feel like in a way it is. These steps are my everyday steps. This is what I do every day. But on the other hand, there are people that move a whole lot less than I do or people that only move as much move as often as I do, but they're moving a whole lot less. I mean, this is a lot to move. I mean, hey, not lying, 242 pounds, right on the nose. That is a lot for two sticks to move. My goals this week, based on my 5F goals and what I've been hearing in my time with God this week. So based around faith is going to be let God fight your battles. I'm going to keep up with that Bible study and my worship Wednesday taping. Based around fitness is, you know, coming, stemming from 
my time with God and where I feel like he's showing me that I need to take this journey um, is to develop my baseline fitness points or my baseline fit points. So I'm not going to add like extracurricular exercise. Obviously, if I get more, you know, taking the dogs for a walk or whatever, I'm not going to I'm not going to not do it if I get the opportunity and I get the urge to. But I want to develop a baseline <clears throat> of what my fit points are so that I can more accurately set a goal for myself every week that isn't so easy that I can't help but not meet it. On the other hand, I don't want to set one that's so hard that I'm not going to meet it. Based around food is, again, after time with God, I'm going back to things that I didn't really think worked before but he's telling me I need to try them again, so I am. I'm going to plan my meals start to finish of the day and make them allergen friendly so I can not only eat them here at home, but I can take them to work with me. They're going to be healthy so they, they fit into my guidelines. At the same time, they're gonna be really good and my husband will enjoy them who obviously does not need this weight loss journey. He is a stick, people, doesn't need it but they'll be healthy enough and delicious enough that he'll be able to eat them. Based around finances, I need to get my June budget done. Ugh! May, I just totally failed. Flunked, flopped, drowned. June, I've got to get the June budget done. That's been bugging me, man. Okay, based around family, my husband and I, our anniversary was yesterday and we didn't get to celebrate it. We didn't really do anything fun together just because it fell in the middle of the week and we were both exhausted with the back issues I've been having and he's has he had been out of work for quite a while and now he's back to full-time manual work. He's tired at the end of his night. So, we didn't have we didn't get to do anything fun for our anniversary. So, um whether we take a long bike ride together. Um, the Oliver's front pouch that we need for him to go on the motorcycles should be here today. So we'll probably go on a longer bike ride uh, and bring all the equipment for the dogs now that we can carry both of them. I'd carry Oliver and my husband would carry Nellie. Um, you know, it's, I feel like on one hand, the goal should be theoretically, relatively simple. But the work comes in putting them, putting them into practice because while all of them seem simple, they're all things that take time, effort on my part, and some thought. You know, these aren't as brainless as some of them seem, you know, to people who are on the outside. So I need to keep my patience. <laughs> not only with others, but with myself. I need to remember this week in my walk with God to remember to let Him take control of my journey. I need to remember to seek Him first when I'm at a crossroads instead of beat myself up for it for something or just start getting mad at myself, which is, you know, I have high expectations for myself. I often set goals that are really high for myself and as a result I find I'm very I'm very um, I'm short with myself I'm very short with myself which leads me to being short with other people sometimes and you know because I expect a lot of myself I find myself often expecting more of others so I need to remember that I am not in charge here God is I need to ask him how he wants me to manage my plan, my day, my life, my marriage, whatever it happens to be. I need to remember to seek him first, always. Okay, so I am closing out Transformation Thursday. I've rambled at you enough, and I will see you at my next vlog.